Today I have another unboxing video for you. This week I'll be unboxing the first expansion to Dream Home, 156 Sunny Street. I got this game and two promos, one for the base game and one for the expansion. 156 Sunny Street is an expansion to the game Dream Home, produced by Rebel and designed by Clemens Kaliki, which turns Dream Home from two to four players up to one to six players aged seven and up and plays in around 30 minutes. The box is slim, but the same size in every other way to the Dream Home box, so it will sit neatly alongside it on your shelf. This expansion adds more ways of playing, and I'll explain what those are as we encounter items in the box. This promo is for the garage, or the garage, depending on where you're from. It's a car, this is for the base game, so whoever builds a garage consisting of two garage cards can take the car token and then it is placed in the garage. It's only worth one point but if you own the base game you will know that if you get two garage cards they're worth four points so that would make the total garage worth five points. This is a promo for the expansion and I'm unsure at the minute what this does. But this little guy is unboxing a game of outer space, which is interesting. So let's open up and see what's inside. So as I said before, the game is very slim, but it's the same size in every other way, so that it can sit alongside your original game on the shelf, if you have a board game shelf. Okay, so let's open up and see what's inside. Okay. So the first thing we come to in the box is obviously the rule book. It's very comprehensive. It explains the add-on piece of the board that will attach to the original player board that goes in the middle of the table for everybody to take cards from. It shows you that there's two sides to it. This instructs you of everything that you'll find in the box. Then... It gives you card clarifications for all of the new cards, room cards, decor cards, helper cards, tool cards. Then it informs you of the construction plans. This is module one, so this is something that you can add to the game. And then it shows module two, family and friends. So you can have family and friends come and stay at your house, but they need certain types of rooms to be able to stay there. And it explains how you add new cards to the base game and then has two pages explaining the solo game variant which I'm very excited to try out. And just shows you some of the progress art on the back. Place that aside. The next thing we come to is obviously two of these house boards because you'll need them for playing the five to six player game. Place those aside. So, as we can see already, nice insert, has a little ladybird on there, ruler, blueprints. So this is the expansion section to the player board that will be stuck to the side of it. So, five in the corner, indicating that this is for a five player game. Flip it over to the other side, adds two sections, and it will be for a six player game. Okay, so here we have a new score pad, because we now have the friends section. It's fairly thick so that will last you a while. Especially if you do what I do and if you're only playing a two-player game I tend to use this say three times or if you were doing it for a three-player game you could use it twice just to save time. But I also laminate one and use a dry erase marker on them to make sure that I don't waste them all. Okay. So there was a punch board, but it appears all but one of my pieces have fallen out. <laughs> so I'll just fix that and I'll be back. Okay, so here's the punch board. Here we have a stable, a vanity chest, suit of armor, dartboard, and kids trampoline with a slide. On the back it shows you how many points they're worth. Stable's worth one point, the other four are worth two. So I'll place that aside. I'm assuming we'll find the cards that correspond to these in this deck here. 
And then these cards here will be the family and friends cards and the construction cards. So I'll open these and we'll check them out. Lovely insert, even detailed on the bottom. There's really a lot of wasted space in this game, but it's necessary for the size of the home boards. Okay, so in this first deck, we just have this card as comes in the base game, just to keep the cards safe. Put that to one side. Now these are all the different room cards, tell you five plus. So these are the ones you'll have to add. It does add a new type of room. I've seen this atelier. The rest appear, oh, and home gym, but the rest appear to be the same. And then some tell you six, like you'll need them for a six player game. These you'll need them for a five player or above game, which is very useful. There's a guest room, that's new. A boiler room, that's new. So those are all the room cards it comes with. And then these are some new helper cards. So plumber, new tool cards, toolbox and ladder. And then these are obviously decor cards. It adds this lovely teal roof, which is very interesting. I quite like this one. We have some more helper cards. We've got an engineer now tool cards, digger, more decor cards, and then this roof, which I also quite like, has a solar panel kind of feel to it. And that was all the ones that was in that little deck, so we will now check out the other deck, the friends and family deck. Okay, so this deck has two different types of cards construction cards and family and friends cards. Now these are a brand new element to the game. Place the family and friends cards aside for the moment while we look at the construction cards. They're defined by the blueprint system on the back and they all say three and then they go to five which may be the points that you receive. I'm assuming these are the points that you receive. So this one says if you have three decor tokens, at least one on the first and second floor, you get five points. Two bedrooms on the second floor, you get five points. Two bedrooms next to a bathroom, you get five points, so on and so forth. If you have no garages and no playrooms, you get five points. I'm not quite sure how you add these into the game yet. I haven't fully looked into it, but they look like a nice extra little element as opposed to the basic system that comes with the base game. So that one at the end is two playrooms, at least two playrooms, and you get three points. But I'm assuming it's two separate playrooms as it shows here, because playrooms can be expanded for, to be more points, but these will have to be two separate playrooms, so these change your gameplay up a bit. There's a nice little illustration on each one to show you what you'd need to achieve the card and get the points, which is great. I like the blueprint element on the back. I'll place those there in a minute and we'll take a look at the family and friends cards. Now the promo card we found earlier, this is also one of the family and friends cards. So it has a family portrait on the back to show you they are family and friends cards. So it shows you what you need to host this guest. So to host this guest, you'd need a living room and a playroom, and you'd get two points. Again, I'm not sure how you add these into the game. I would have to read the rules and find that out. And this one, you'd need a bathroom, a bedroom, and a playroom. This one, a living room and bathroom. That's only one point. And let's go through, see how many points you can get. Two points, two points, one three for that one. The promo one is a three point. This one's three point, three point, one point, one point, two point, one point, three point, and two point. So there's not too many of those kind of cards, but I guess you don't need too many of them. And it will actually be really interesting to see if they bring out any more expansions for this game and what other ideas they have. So I'll place the promo one in there now. Okay, so that was Dream Home. Please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. 
Links to our board game and social media are in the description box below. Please check those out and stay tuned for more unboxing videos and reviews to come. Feel free to comment below any games you'd like to see us unbox or review and we will try our best to make it happen. As always, thank you for watching and see you next time.